Hi, this is another video from Bear Marketing Network for the Content Management System. In this uh, video, we're going to learn how to change images in a Lightbox photo gallery. So first of all, let me flip over here to show people what a Lightbox photo gallery is. This is a live website page. Um, it's actually a practice page, but it is live on the internet. So on the photo gallery, or the Lightbox photo gallery, it's the one that expands an image and kind of grays out everything else back there. Um, it is an autoplay or you can advance it or reverse it on your own. So, and then to close it, you can either click the X or click any place outside of it. Uh, but again, that is the Lightbox Photo Gallery. Okay, we're going to switch back to the Content Management System. This one has already been logged into and this is the Site Actions page from here. We click on the Site Map. Uh, we're going to go down to the practice page. I'm going to zoom in here for a second so everybody can see the number of pages available for editing here. But we're going to choose the practice page. Let me zoom back out and click on that. The page we just looked at is the page we're going to be working on. So as you'll see, if we scroll down here, um, there are editing bubbles um, in a few text areas where you can just go in and modify the text. Um, there are editing buttons around some of the pictures. So if you watch closely here, let me zoom in, you'll see as I move from one picture editing bubble to another, it is slightly highlighted around that picture. So you can tell which picture that you're working on. There's a few places where the bubbles get kind of crowded, uh, like right here for instance. So you really have to pay attention to when you hover over it, which picture it applies to. Let's go down to the bottom here. Um, let's say we want to f add an extra picture down here, first of all. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hover over closest picture to it. Uh, we're going to go hover over the bubble and you're going to see some choices pop out here for duplicate, uh, remove, or move up, or move down. Actually, let me zoom in on this so you can see that better. Again, it's uh, duplicate, remove, move up, or move down. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out here. So what we're going to do is duplicate this last picture here. I just click on the green plus button, and boom, there we go. We've got a duplicate picture on the bottom down here. Um, but let's go ahead and the one, the new image we created, let's change that image to something else. So we click on the edit button and what comes up is this screen here. Um, at the top, this is the important part, it has change image. As far as the URL here, um, only advanced users should ever manually change this. And we'll be explaining this in a second, but people are going to want to use the middle icon here, which is link to another image. You can also link to a file or link to another page, but for a Lightbox photo gallery slideshow, we're going to want to link to another image. Okay, let me zoom back out here. The other thing, this is an absolute must. Right here, I'm going to zoom in so you can definitely see this, under the advanced section. Um, do not touch this. Do not change this at all or you will disable the slideshow light box effect gallery. So completely ignore and avoid the advanced section. Uh, what we're going to do is click on change image. Let me zoom back out and we'll click on change image. This brings up the photo library. Uh, that we were working on in the previous video. Uh, these are right up front in the photo library. We actually were working in a folder over here called test library or test folder, excuse me. We're going to go ahead and click on the test folder. There's only two images in there right now and in the previous video we worked on resizing and renaming those images. So in order to select an image um, all we have to do is Hover over it until the cursor changes to a pointing hand, which means we can click and select, and we're going to select that image. Now, what happens here is 
there will be a kind of a running dotted line uh, moving around this and what it's doing is taking the proportions of the thumbnail images in the original gallery I'm going to switch to another screen here it's taking the proportions of these images right here in the thumbnails and it's applying it to the large image I'm going to move back to the content manager you don't want to change these if you can at all help it okay you can actually grab any of these handles at the sides and you can drag them around to change the image um, actually you can grab the corners that's okay actually I'm learning something here okay this is very interesting it's actually constraining the proportions so you can actually resize that and zero in on something and it's going to keep that proportion size now <clears throat> you're not actually changing the picture you're just saying this is the portion I want to appear in my thumbnail so we zoomed in on that a little bit more actually let's go down a little farther here we're just going to focus almost exclusively on the uh, island in the kitchen there you find what you want you click on finish makes sense okay we've changed the image already now what we need to do is say okay what do we want to link this picture to because when somebody clicks on the thumbnail the picture blows up it becomes a light box image and it becomes a much larger image of itself um, so we need to reset what that thumbnail is linked to we want to link it back to the picture that we just changed it to but back to the full size image so we're going to click on the middle icon over here which is as you can see the link to image again do not manually change any of this information unless you are an advanced user so what we're going to do is click on that let me zoom back out click on that icon again it brings us back to our photo library our image was in the test folder and it was the uh, the island here we just click on it again and it changes the location here the URL of that picture don't mess with that it's got it right um, I forget what's under show advanced oh okay um, Let's find out here. This is the title. And that's what we put in the title box. Let me zoom in so you can see that. Again, do not mess with this item here, the, uh, the REL section. But you can, if you click on the advanced, you can, you can change the title. And I just put in this as title so we see where it's going to show up. Okay, we click out of I zoom back out. All we have to do is click on OK. And you'll notice here that the image has changed to um, what is this? The, the kitchen island there. Um, so it's as simple as that. You can repeat the images and then change them. Uh, you can delete images by clicking on remove. Let's say we want to move this one farther up on the page every time you click the move up it's going to move left until it can't move left and then it'll move up so we just moved it one we just moved it two to the left here's the kitchen island if I go up here and I click move again it takes it up to the next row if I click left or click move up again it just keeps moving so it moves it left 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 and then up and then left 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 until it gets to the end of the row so now the uh, island is all the way up here in the third row fifth spot okay at this point our options are let me zoom in over here just as in the other videos we can publish or we can save it as a draft I'm going to zoom out and go ahead and publish that keep in mind when you're editing there's not a zoom in and zoom out that's just for presentation purposes right now um, so I click on publish and wait for it to publish that page okay we're going to zoom in up here top left 
you'll see it says the page was published and it gives today's date. I'm going to zoom back out. That page has been published and updated, so we're going to go back to the live page, switch to another uh, tab in our Firefox browser here, and or whatever browser you're using, of course, and I'm going to refresh or reload the page, depending on what browser you have. It will use usually one of those two commands, and it's reloading this page, and there it is. Here is the kitchen island that we just... Uh, created a picture for. Um, obviously this is a bathroom gallery. I just put in something very different so it would be easy for us to spot. Um, so if we go ahead and click on that. Again we are on the live web page. It will blow that picture up and make it a light box effect by kind of graying out the rest of the screen. And as you see here it is a uh, slideshow. So it is changing on its own. And that's all there is to it. Um, let me go back to the content management system. We want to go back up to the top right and click on close. That'll bring us back to the site actions page. And that's all there is to it.